Hi, this is Lenny with Free Market Media Group. What I want to do today is give you a little introduction to the WordPress blog. What you see on the screen is the, a WordPress blog. This is the uh, default template. And if you look on the right, on the right side of the screen, you'll see categories, the search bar, categories, archives. If we just scroll down a little, we'll get to Meta. Now, Meta is the area where the login link is, so we'll just click Login. Takes us to the login page. The uh, default username for WordPress is admin, and it can be changed. It's uh, not an easy change, and I just don't do it. I just create a password with upper and lower case letters and numbers, and I've never had a problem with uh, security on the WordPress blog because it's really, really secure. So let's just click login, and what you're going to see first is the newly designed dashboard for the newest version of WordPress. I have 2.7.1 installed, the uh, newest version 2.7 did a complete redesign where they uh, put the all the administration navigation on the left, and so if we go through that real quick, the top link will return you to this dashboard page from anywhere in the administration. And so if you look on the left, you'll see posts, media, links, pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings. So real quick to tell you what these are, uh, posts is where you would go to edit or add a new post, to add tags that you could put into blog posts later, and add or edit categories. Under media, you can add items into your library and those items could be pictures, video, or audio. And so you can see what's in your library, move stuff around, and also add new directly to here. I don't really use this feature. What I do is I do it post by post because what's very nice is, uh, and we'll talk about this in the next video, when you're adding media to a post, it will actually link whatever media that is to that particular post, and it's just a very simple thing, and so I don't really see a reason to do it from this area, but that's just me. Next, we see links, where you can edit your links, add new ones, add link categories. Pages, where you can edit or add new pages, and what's really great about the WordPress blog and the pages feature is it turns the WordPress blog from just a blog platform into really a content management system. So you can add pages like a contact page or an about us and even a product page if you have products to sell. So it's easy as putting in your your content, an image, and your PayPal button and suddenly you have a shopping cart, uh, sort of. So next we have comments and comments you'd be able to add uh, edit your comments or mark them, approve them, unapprove them, mark them as spam, delete them, whatever you'd like to do. Appearance is where you can control your template and what your blog looks like, what your visitors see. Uh, what I what I do with uh, my WordPress installs if I'm not doing a custom site is I will install multiple templates so that the uh, the look of the blog can change on a whim. So you can do that there. You can also actually edit the templates themselves if you know something about coding and you can also take control of the widgets if you remember that right hand column on the page before we logged in there are widgets and, and there are a lot of different widgets so you can rearrange and add new things to that sidebar as well so that's really good next you'll see plugins and plugins are a great feature that WordPress uses and there are literally thousands of different plugins you can use from polls to Amazon books to RSS feeds to almost anything you can think of you can actually put um, you can create a or have a plugin for a couple of the plugins that I use is a kismet which is a spam catcher because there is a thing such a thing as comment spam on a blog and a kismet does a great job of catching that and I also use a meta tags plugin so that I can put a description and meta keywords with all my posts. And then uh, next you see users, and that's where you could control uh, user classifications if they're an author or just a subscriber or even an administrator or an editor. You could also edit uh, usernames and passwords in there. 
Next is Tools, where there are a couple of great new features in this new version of WordPress. You can actually upgrade your WordPress blog because they do, the developers of WordPress are constantly upgrading the uh, blog software. So it used to be that you would have to go to WordPress.org, download a file, and then upload it with an FTP program, and then run through an installation. And what's nice here, with basically one click, you can upgrade the blog. And then the next feature is backup. So if you want to back up your blog's database, you can do that with one click also. And then the others are export and import. Uh, you can import blog posts from other blog platforms. If you have a blog, say Blogger or TypePad or a WordPress.com blog, you can import those posts directly into your WordPress blog, install in your own domain, and you can do the same. You can actually export as well if you want to install somewhere else. And then the last one we have is settings. And settings will just, it's the general settings of the blog. So your blog title, your blog slug line, what, uh, what permissions are allowed for writing, who can write a blog post, who can read it, who can leave comments, uh, some other things like that that we will go over in another video. So to go continue on the dashboard page, another really nice feature that is newly added in this version of the WordPress blog, if you see this little gray button on the top, screen options. On every page in the administration, you can make choices on what you actually want to show up on your screen. So right now I have, I have right now checked, recent comments, incoming links, and quick press. If I uncheck those, everything goes away from my dashboard. So I want quick press there. I want right now there. I want recent comments. And I want incoming links. And then we can close that by clicking the screen options button. So now if we look, there are the four that I chose. But wait, there's more. Uh, in the new version of WordPress, you can also drag and drop to rearrange how your uh, pages look. So if you decide that you want you want to move your quick press over here and your right now over here and your incoming links over here, you can do that very very easy just by dragging and dropping. So this is the introduction to the new WordPress 2.7 and in the next video we will discuss posting to your blog and good ways to do that. So hope you got a little bit of information from this, and I will catch you soon.